Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Learn This Deck with the Dreaming Way Tarot. And as we wrap up our wand story, we are here with the Ten of Wands. Wow. Now look at this picture. Um, what do we see here? What do we see here? The environment. Now here is a very marked difference from all the other cards of the wands that we've seen so far. He's standing on on what looks like barren ground. There is no lush greenery. There is no meadow. There is none of that happening, and that to me stands out. So there is something going on here which is, uh, you know, different because if lush greenery sort of, you know, evoke that feeling of fulfillment, of pleasantness, of happiness, of, of joy, then this barren uh, sort of brown ground thing is, is the direct opposite of it, isn't it? And what's going on? What is the person doing? He's a young man. He's bending over. He's picking up these wands. He's already got these nine wands that he's holding. And now he's going to, you know, reach out for the tenth one. So in short, now if we look at each of these wands, especially in terms of the symbols, if we look at each of these wands, they represent passion, they represent desire. And in the arena of life, they also represent maybe the things that in or the different directions in which one has sort of uh you know started something or invested a little bit of one's passion so it could be the different tasks that one is uh you know taking care of or doing in the course of his or her own life and now in this situation this young man is sort of bent over he's picking up all of those tasks so in, in the scheme of things he's having a huge burden of things or responsibilities that he has to sort of take on and that is i would say the important uh you know the key aspect of this card because in terms of imagery what what is shown here is very similar i would say to the traditional uh, sort of imagery of the Ten of Wands card where a person is shown uh, either bent over or burdened with all these wands which are basically the things that he has to do, his responsibilities. So what did the LWB have to say? Again, the meanings were fairly standard, fairly typical, so really nothing stood out that much except maybe these two points which i would say were i wouldn't say there was they stood out because they've always come up in meanings for me but it's just you know it's <laughs> out of the other ones these were the best so i chose these upright severe physical fatigue and that's pretty obvious obvious you know like with him bending over he could have back problems usually the ten of wands does show up sometimes as a lot of you know stress induced back problems then we have reverse we have leaving the job for someone else now we're going to talk about that when we look at the keywords so i will move on to that point the meanings the keywords upright he's taking on too many responsibilities and so he's burdened with these responsibilities, right? This this is, I would say, still a very, uh, you know, good, <laughs> I know, I mean, in, in, in that spectrum, it's it's a better sort of meaning. The, the last one, the control freak, that comes up a few times and that shows a person who, you know, he, he, he just does not, trust other people to take on uh, the work or the responsibilities or the tasks that have been set out. He, for what, one reason or the other, he likes to micromanage everything. He likes to be in charge of everything. He or she likes to be the person to who says, you know, you know, you, you can't leave it to me. I'll do it. Leave it to me. I'll do it. That's the kind of person. And then suddenly he or she is left with uh, a bunch of tasks that other people could have performed but now he or she is gonna sit and do it simply because they did not trust that the other person would do it in a better manner or in a more 
uh, correct manner. I don't know. They they are just too control freaky. That and that meaning has come up a few times. So that's your ten of wands, which then brings us to the reversed uh, card meanings. And now we see, you know, reverse. Those wands are going to fall out of his hands, and you know whether he wants them to or not. Those things are going to go out of his control. So, therefore, he, you know, the, the good sort of version is that he is letting go of his responsibilities and he is delegating his work to other people, which is a good thing sometimes, especially if one is a control freak, right? And he's letting go of that control. So, it could be that the control is taken away from him or he lets learns to let it go the surrounding cards right in in a tarot reading your the other cards surrounding this card will of course you know add value or add meaning to the story and of course the spread position will also you know sort of hold uh value in in terms of a big spread so you know you should look into that but you know to and and of course your intuition mainly <laughs> so but yeah it's like so either the control is taken away from him or he lets it go but it is now gone and he has to figure it out he has to learn uh, to let other people take control or take charge of maybe even one or two of his tasks even if they may not be doing it you know up to his quote unquote high standards still he has to let go otherwise it's going to be burdensome for him right so what was the uh, story I got when I got into his head? These were the words that came out. Everyone tells me to take it easy and to let the others also take on the responsibilities of the tasks. I understand their point of view. I do. I'm tired too. But what else can I do when none of the people can be trusted to do their tasks properly? They haven't yet proved themselves. And if things aren't done correctly, it won't sit well with me. Ah, this is so tiring. But who else is going to do it? Right? This this is what, what what sounded in my head was like a control freak giving justifications <laughs> for his control freakiness. But he does have a little bit of a point that you know if they haven't proven themselves and he couldn't really trust them. But that's the whole point of trusting and teamwork and delegation so again it's it's a very thin line that people have to walk on working together in a in a team but that's the story of the ten of wands so what was your card story what were your keywords what was your journal entry like take a picture take a picture of the card or just the journal whatever you like post it on instagram post it on twitter post it on facebook with the hashtag learn this deck and the hashtag 10 of wands and hashtag dreaming with tarot you could also add the hashtag tactically speaking if you like me so much and then you know the whole point is that we get together and we uh you know share the meanings with each other and we learn this deck now i'm uh for tomorrow i'm going to take a little short break and make a different uh, sort of video because that's been something uh, at the back of my mind and I'm thinking of, you know, doing something different with this or maybe not. I, I have to still ask my cards. So anyway, I will see you again tomorrow with uh, a different sort of video. But in the meanwhile, it's, it is about this deck. Don't worry. In the meanwhile, stay good, be good and learn this deck. Bye now.